Hello guys and welcome to another video of Rangy B Flying historical battles, this time with the P-51, the Mustang over Midway Midway uh, Of course, going against the Japanese uh, The Japanese is a um, nation you really have to treat with respect uh, The planes are very good turners and are able to um, put the heart very easily on you because their cannons work very well so, well, I'm going with the P-51 and of course, and as always, the first thing you want to do in any plane and even more so in a P-51 is to climb a lot. Um, we are at 6,000 meters and you can see we have um, contacts at the same uh, altitude. So, yeah. <coughs> I'm taking those lower um, A6Ms because that one is probably trying to come for me. Now I spot he's not. Next one is there, and that's going to be my target for the first pass. Go down, spill test, level off, put some stuff on him, set him on fire, and destroy him. Very quick uh, kill. That's one of the things with the Japanese, they don't send a lot of damage. Most of the times, in this battle, you are going to see something that has, has re rarely happened to me in the past. But in the meantime, well, we got our first kill. Um, pretty straightforward. Next in line, I'm going to go for that G5M. Um, that's a bomber and it's heavily protected, and I don't have really the weapons to do a lot of damage, but. I have the speed to do a couple passes with few hits in, re in return. So I'm going to push my luck and try, well, at least getting some hits on him. After a uh, good time swimming, I go back on him, a little bit of instructor wobble, which I bring into control with keyboard. Come down on him. He's maneuvering out of my arc of fire, but I correct, I get one of his scanners, and again, some again. <coughs> but I recognize this is going to take a lot of time and a lot of my ammunition, and in this map, land planes have it very complicated to to reload, because carriers um, are not exactly the best place to land a P-51 in. Um, so well, my plan is to do a one last pass and then start focusing on fighters. You can see I don't go directly for him. I plan my approach because Bomber Gunnery is really, really, really powerful. You can see here, I have a better shot now. The gunners are not going to be so much, so much such a, of a problem, but I get not a single hit on a plane the size of the Empire State. The Empire State. Uh -huh. Well, this is the reason why I usually load tracers. Without them, it's very hard to track targets. I cross a zero, let him go away, no big problem, I can zoom easily. He's coming back my way, so I go straight in the vertical. And now he's diving. He's recognized my move and he's not going to be hanging on his prop when I come down. Back no big deal. Bring my nose down, drag him. Get a proper approach angle. And no, he turned it into me. He didn't give me a good angle, so I simply didn't waste my ammo. Again. High speed zoom. And just decide the moment where I'm going to come back. Looping on the top and let's give it another try. A little bit of combat flaps to tighten the loop. Retracting them, not to disturb my dive. And there we go again. By the way, I'm planning to do a another fighter combat school uh, lesson which is going to be centered about flaps what they are how they work and uh, when you when do you want to use them so if you have any questions about that don't worry soon they will be answered um, well that
that A6M has basically dived down to the deck. So I'm going to manage my altitude and speed in a smart way because right now I'm the highest guy around and I don't want to give up that position. I want to be bouncing the enemy all the time. There I go. He starts break turning. I try to adjust, but no, he's not going to give me a good angle. It's very hard to get proper tracking shots on A6Ms. Uh, if, of course, they know you are coming. Ooh, and the aircraft guns. Uh, so dangerous in, the in this map. Okay, I loop around. Set up from another pass. So you can see, I never press the attack. If I don't get a good angle or a good shot, I try not to press it. Again, dive and zoom. I attracted the attention of that other A6M, which is cool because it's so slow that he's never going to catch up with me and he was being a problem for that uh, friendly we had there. Vertical move again. Letting the speed go down. Start applying a little bit of rudder. And bring slowly the no sound. Again, anti aircraft guns. Oh shit, shit, shit. Checking around. I don't want to be surprised even when I know there's no enemies nearby. Just in case. Just in case. Maybe someone new has come and you didn't notice him. There we go. Now this guy is giving me a good angle. I put a very strong, uh, strong burst on him and set him on fire, but. Yeah! He's no longer on fire! It's the first time a zero um, doesn't burn to death on me. Oh well, bad luck. That P63 is in serious trouble, so instead of keeping my zoom to the end, I'm going to top it off and come down again to try to help him. Again, using a little bit of laps to tighten my my climb, my loop. And you can see we are all on a very big disadvantage. We are only two left against quite a lot of them. A6M there is not giving me a good angle, that one either, so I'm not going to press it. Zooming. Or zooming. <laughs> and now I can see easily that they are trying to go back home. Um, the A6M I tortured must be really hurting. Uh, and the other one, I don't know exactly how he is, but they are obviously trying to disengage, and I'm having none of that. I'm going to give the pressure on them because I don't want them to land in the courier, uh, reload, repair, and come up again. Use my diving ability to win a lot of speed, and then my weight to keep it up. One of the A6Ms is breaking away, no big deal. I have the other one. Which is starting to break down now. I predict his move. No. No hits. No need to press it. No need to enter a close turning contest. Because there's no, there's no sense in doing that against zeros. And again, use the zooming ability to set the proper uh, follow up attack. That's going to be my target probably because. Um, is engaged with the P63. The other guy is uh, running back to the fleet. So I'm going to try to press the advantage of the numbers against this guy and to get some more hits. There I go. Properly shot, some hits, no luck. Both G5Ns have crashed, which is very good news. Because those were those would have been serious trouble to 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 kill in a P51. Again, setting up a proper attack. He's breaking. Get some shots. Get more shots. Sadly, no kill. No no critical. But it's obvious to see that that guy has a left wing, which is not exactly in the best shape. So I, <coughs> I'm going to press my my advantage here. I have energy. He doesn't have the ability to maneuver properly. So I'm going to go come very close to him. Miss most of my shots. I really suck. More hits, but again nothing. 
No need to do a lot of zooming because the other guy is trying to land uh, his plane at the carriers and this guy is much lower in, in energy and uh, he's damaged. So I can do a very fast follow up. I set him on fire, I break off, thinking he's done. But what do you know? Another zero that doesn't burn to death on me. Really? Bad luck. I, I, I don't know exactly why, but... I never had this happening to me. Zeros burn to death all each time I, I set in them on fire. But well, instead of having three kills, I only have one and... Well, at least they are very, very, very badly damaged. But I'm running low on ammo. I only have maybe 300 uh, rounds left. And that's a problem, because if those guys land and take off again, I'm going to be out of ammo and I don't know what I'm going to do. Because reloading is a serious problem in this plane, in this map. Yeah, well, you see me QQ in it, about it a little bit on the on the chat. It's never bad to let some pressure off, because at this stage I was pretty pissed off. <laughs> I mean, you, you, can, uh, you have to understand that at this moment, the game is on the balance. We can both win or lose. And both those guys would be dead, because I set both of them on fire. But luck was against me. Nothing you can do against, uh, against that. So yeah, those guys are trying to land. They are mm, over their fleet, and that's a very, 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 very dangerous spot to be in. Because of the naval and the aircraft guns. I spot, they are going for the P63. I see the other one is not going to be a serious problem. I usually would go for the last guy first and then for the first. But in this particular case, the P63 is look. Oh, cool, I got the other guy. I'm shooting all my ammo, get hit, I got him to break off, and my uh, other guy is, is alive yet, so that's good. But I'm, I only have 80 rounds of 50 cars left, so yeah, that's bad. Um, the, the thing here, well, what I was telling you that is that I usually would go for the last guy first and then for the first guy. Because if you go for the first guy, the last guy can go and try to get you. And here I'm having a serious problem. You can see the little plane in the left, and the aircraft hits has probably gotten um, my engine. And I'm getting it red. So I'm spotting my chances here. There's a... Um, uh, an air, um, how is it? An airbase in, in B, in Midway. But of course, you have to go through all the anti aircraft guns of the ships, the land units, etc., to land there. And I don't feel really comfortable about that. So, yeah, but the engine is now deep red. It's very easy to, easy to spot. I'm not going to make it back to the carriers. It's either landing there or nowhere. Black engine. I simply have no other choice and I ne even won't have a second, a second chance at landing. So I bleed most of my speed. The P-63 has died, so it's just one on one right now. Oh, that destroyer, that destroyer, if he hits me. I'm going to die. Engine is dead. I lost the engine. Also, the ground units are shooting at me. Touch down. Time to break. Thankfully, all these structures around me are covering from most of the fire which is coming my way. So I'm able to... Oh, ugh. I said most of the fire, not all. I land. Hit brakes, being very careful not to nose over, not to nose over. And stopped. And yeah, I'm repairing and reloading. So at least I won't die because of the engine damage. So well, 
what happens now is that when I take off again, um, I well, you'll spot this because I'm going to um, keep the video on until you spot this because it's also a lesson to learn. Uh, always climb away from the enemy. I know the enemy is in the carriers, okay? So I know they are to my left. He is to my left. So what I'm going to do is to take off, hope for no hits from the anti aircraft uh, guns, and immediately assume a course away from the enemy carriers. Because I want to climb a little bit and build and build a little bit of energy before I actually go to the engaged side. Because you never know, that guy might be coming his way. He was emitted, but you never know. If he catches you low on energy, he might end you. So or finish you. So what I do is to climb away from the engaged side. And once I build enough altitude, I'll go back and try to hunt him. But I think here is that uh, the last remaining zero actually crashed on landing. I did get no kill, which sucks, but he crashed. So in the end, we won this battle. And uh, there's nothing else to show you about this, so let's go directly to the resource by page. So, well, battle's over, we won, and you are about to see the results of the battle. Uh, I still have gotten one more kill, but, ah, well, whatever. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you had fun, I hope you learned something. And as always, um, thank you very much for watching, and see you later.